So, definitely the, the louder ton is actually the vessel that separates um, the solids from the liquid. It's pretty much like almost uh, as if you would have a coffee maker. Mm -hmm. When you have a coffee maker, you add your coffee powder, you start adding water, you, you, you keep adding your hot water through it, and you start out with the very, very strongest coffee at the beginning. And then as more water you add to your coffee powder, as more your water or your coffee is diluted. The same uh, working principle in the louder ton, you have a, you have a mesh. Uh, the mesh will settle as soon as we turn off the rake, the, the agitation in it. The mesh will settle on a, what we call a false bottom, which is like a slotted bottom. But the slotted bottom keeps back the grains and the liquid will filter through the grain and it's collected through this louder pump, it's a variable speed driven pump, so we can very accurately dose the flow and, um, by, a fl by flow meters and by pressure sensors, it's controlled. And after we take the initial ward out, uh, we keep adding water on top of it to, to wash out the remaining sugars, because there's still a lot of sugar in. And we try to get the extract down as low as possible, but there's also a limit. There's at some point we say the quality um, would would start getting worse if we keep adding too much water. We start extracting too much of the huskiness, so that's when we stop. Um, you see the louder rings. You see the, the suction side of the pump goes up. It connects to this ring. That's a louder ring. We have evenly distributed outlets uh, on this ring to collect from each square meter or each square inch of the louder tongue we try to collect evenly so that means that we have an even washout if you would have only you know one central outlet you would you would have uh, more water flow through almost like on the cone which is what we have in yeah. the pub now it comes out of the middle yeah so you have like you know your per house yield or your efficiency is lower uh, compared to a system that way where you have more outlets and you collect you work evenly and uh, you see the second ring, which is this ring on the outside, it's like a, a ring, we call it a, a flushing of the false bottom or underlet. That means you have, you know, some of the finer grain particles will pass the false bottom and then they are laying on the second lower bottom bet between them. So you have to clean them out. And this is with the water ring with jets inside. We hit, we hit the jets with water and the jets spray out and clean underneath the false bottom and make make the false bottom clean again. So the oh. false bottom does not have to be taken out after every right. brew. It can be taken out after 20 brews, after 30 brews. We have people oh. that take it out twice a year. I mean, we usually oh. recommend, you know, just pull it out like once a month, right. make sure um, that, it is, that it is all clean. Right. You will have on that outlet, you have this big uh, slide gate. Um, there will be a grain, a grain chute that connects from this, from that grain slide down to the, to the pump. So when uh, we are all done, when we have collected all work, we have of course um, here several hundred, several thousand pounds of grain inside and the grain, you know, in manual systems would have to be pushed out and collected. We push it out with a spain grain plow, which is the pneumatic spain, uh, spain grain plow we've seen before in the other building. So that is lowered by, by, uh, by, by a valve. Uh, it goes down, it takes the grain and shovels the grain out through the opening into the pump and the pump uh, pumps it out either to a farmer's truck or into a spent grain silo. Mm -hmm. To take this grain out uh, with a pump will take about 15 minutes. Like if you would do it on manual, it would take a lot longer, right. of course, and An it's quite some work. Yeah. Mm -hmm.